Beer review for today. The first beer I'm drinking a little while. It's a bit unwell. It's Amity IPA by Amity Brew Company. It's a 5.4%. Um, it's 20 international bitting units. Um, and that's what it says here. Tasting notes wise, it says tropical, citrus, and peachy. This house IPA has been developed since 2021. So two years it's been development. Um, with an ever evolving recipe, Amity IPA pairs juicy New Zealand hops with citrus US hops to give a right of flavour and aroma. The Nordic farmhouse Kiev Vik Vik yeast gives it a final peachy punch. Kapow! Punch, punch, punch. And that's all I know about it. That's all I know about it. Sounds good though. Peachy, peachy stuff. Redeem nothing. Lily, you've redeemed nothing. <laughs> I like the nothing redeem. I've got to change them about though. I've got to put on the. Um, we got two, haven't we? We've got the inspirational bot, and we've got the um, the confession thing. The confession thing we've got to put on there. Hey, Radiant D, how you doing, my friend? Pleasure to see you as always. How was the wedding? How was the family wedding? Right, let's get some ASMR pouring noises. This today's one just sounded like someone was pissing in a glass. Okay, so it's fairly cloudy, not cloudy, not been too fine. I found out that some of the chemicals I work with, um, in particular bentonite. I work with bentonite at work, um, which is a phyloaluminosilicate. A phyloaluminosilicate um, is used for fining these things. It came up in the video the other day. Someone was using phyloaluminosilicates for fining cider, and it's like, well, why are you using that in cider? What's it doing? It's like, oh, it, it fines it. It gets rid of the cloudiness. It's like, by days I've got this at work. Um, and I wouldn't ever consider drinking it. <laughs> Smell wise. Ooh. It smells. There's like a sour undertone to it. Like a soury sort of. I guess like a sherbet sour. Like a sweet sour smell to it. And I would say oranges. But not bananas. There's no bananas going on. Ooh. Okay. It's definitely peachy. It is peachy. 100%. You know, for a change, we have beers that say, oh, this is going to taste like this, this is going to taste like that, and it just tastes like nothing. This actually tastes quite peachy. Not like a peach beer, but you've got like a, a peach swimming around in there. So that's nice. For the fact it actually does what it says. So this has got like a peachy flavour. I guess this would be something you'd have after dinner rather than with dinner kind of thing. I like it though. It's nice, especially as it says what it does on the tin, which is really, really good. So for that reason, and we're, we're moving the benchmark quite low now, because if a beer actually tastes all right and says what it does in the taste, <laughs> the, 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 taste how it should from the taste notes, I'm going to give it a high score. So this is going to get a four and a half, four and a half out of five. So cheers, everybody. Dan tastes like cheese. 